<laughs> I got that shit on video. <laughs> so basically, he's gonna expose me to all of YouTube. Yeah. That's alright. Yo, this shit. <laughs> Yo, this you, bro. I can't. Oh. Right. So what you can do, you can put that oh. back. Bro. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta. <laughs> Do bro, check out yo yo the, the flames is purple. Man. Is these, are these flames? Yeah, it's a beater? flower. What is with a white? What? A white, with a... what? <laughs> bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, so we're here in Snipes, actually. Um, this used to be Kicks USA, but uh, they changed their name. I don't even know how I feel about that. I mean, they have some nice stuff like yeah, these wings right here. These yellow toes, the mids. Hey, uh. Cool. Cool. Yeah. 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 Eternity later. <laughs> Alright, so we're here in New York, in Soho, about to do some um, thrift shopping, see what we can find, and uh, yeah, let's let you guys see. Stain on it? No, what's the stain? It's on the, it's on the shoulder. Back. Copy, copy. All right, so we just left Beacon's closet, and uh, we're about to hit up another one, a Goodwill. That's like six minutes away. So um, yeah. back with another video um so basically what you guys just saw was me shopping thrifting at um my local thrift stores and then like a month or two months later i um went to new york and thrifted in new york and got some some things i just want to say this like thrifting in new york is not what you would think it is like i went with the idea of going to new york and like finding like Tommy Hilfiger, Polo, these, you know, designer vintage stuff. And like, it was actually kind of disappointing um, to say the least. We hit up a store called Buffalo Exchange. And then we hit up Goodwill and all the regular stuff that we find here in Jersey. And it was just not what I thought it was gonna be. So I would say from my, like my only trip to New York thrifting and my multiple trips in Jersey thrifting, Jersey thrifting is a lot better. I found I like a lot of my stuff here is thrifted from pieces. I mean, thrifted from stores, Jersey thrifts by local ones like that are 20 minutes away. And then when I went to New York, I got like one thing. So yeah, so let's get right into it. So the the one and only piece that I got from New York were these like nylon. Like nylon pants, sweats, 
I don't know if you can hear it. It's very like, probably that was like, oh, okay, cool. Like a black cargo pant. And you know, they're all right. Like I wore them today. They're really comfortable and they're really lightweight. You know, probably don't want to wear this during the winter time. Cause like that air just be flowing through you. So I'll probably stick to like jeans and you know, real cargo pants in the winter. But like, you know, it's how they look. This is the only thing I got from New York. I have some, you know, you saw some footage. I didn't really get a lot of footage because those places were packed for some reason. There's a lot of people in there on the weekend and it was just packed. And as you can see, my boy Aaron got these, uh, not these. Oh, he only got one thing, which was the Coca-Cola sweatshirt, which was cool. And then, um, yeah, so the only thing I got from New York. Now the rest of the footage, are from thrift stores in Jersey from like during the summertime. That's why you see some of my friends have like shorts on. <clears throat> from the from the My Unique in Jersey, I got this USC Dad sweatshirt, and it's a and it's a Russell sweatshirt. It's just fire! Like you can wear this with a lot of stuff, and it just you know it's cozy, cozy fit thing, man. Cozy fit ting. No, I had to step out. Um, proper XO OVO ting, my ting. Uh, what do you say? Um, custom Brioni. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like a rack. Mmm, turtleneck Tom Ford. Like a rack. You feel me? So, you're just gonna. Yeah, nothing in the back. It's a regular red sweatshirt, USC dad. And, uh, yeah. Next cop was another one from Jersey, and it was this, I don't know, I have like two things like this. It's like a golf nylon jacket, and um, it's like a quarter sleeve, so like, when you put it on, it's, you know, it doesn't go all the way, it stops like right here, and yeah, like this is basically it. And I know there's some footage in there of me and Snipes, and as you can see, I cop the uh, the Jordan 1 uh, Low Royals and you guys already saw this in my last video on how to style Air Jordan 1s, these were in it. So that's how you know like that footage from the thrift was so long ago. So yeah, these were just, you know, there was a, a Snipes across the street from the My Unique and I just went over there and copped these. Yeah, they're a little beat right now. So you know, wear your sneakers man, wear your sneakers. I'm just so tired, bro. I just came from class. I don't know, man. School is just a drag. Pick up video of just certain things that I got from thrifts in New York and thrifts in Jersey. We actually went to like seven. No, we went to like six thrifts in New York and I couldn't find anything that fit my style. So I'm not gonna say that thrift, you know, thrifts in New York are trash because it's New York, but you know, as you can see, I saw those, um, I saw those 12, the all blue 12s for like $29 and they were in decent condition. And then I saw the Reeboks and like, you know, that wasn't really my style. I mean, that isn't my style, but like I would see someone seeing those and having it be in their size and be like, all right, yeah, that's it cop immediately but other than that it just wasn't what i expected it and uh hope you guys enjoy the video and uh yeah i'm gonna show you guys how the pieces look on body and then we're done peace Also forgot to mention 
I went to the uh, Kanye West experience in New York, um, like a few weeks back, and you know he had our. Uh, I would have footage of that, but he locked our phones literally in these little pouches. I have it right here. Our phones in these pouches, and you couldn't get them out unless you like literally try and force it in a pod, which I did after the show. And yeah, like ridiculous. But after the show, and he, you know, debuted the album, amazing album. Um, I waited in line for like 20 minutes and got this Sunday service uh, merch shirt. I only wish you guys could feel the quality of this shirt. It's like the toughest like cotton that I've ever felt. You know me, I you know I'm chilling. You feel me? But like I go to like regular stores and cop regular t-shirts, but this is like hard body industrial. And yeah, the shirt. He only had one size at the uh, New York experience, and it was an XL. So, I mean, obviously I'm a, I'm a copy regardless. I'm mostly a large, but the XL, like if it's really, you know, flowy, really big, and like the collar stays like right here. Like it doesn't hang like this shirt right now. I'm wearing it's a regular white shirt. It hangs, but this one like secures around your neck and it's just, you know, it's a nice shirt, but it's really big. But you know, you gotta just find, find your own style and just you know when you find things that you like size i mean you can manipulate the size you can cut it you can do all that other stuff tailor it or whatever i'm actually appreciative that it's an extra large because now i'm going out of my comfort zone and i'm trying out new outfits that i would have never tried out before because you know it was if it was a regular shirt like this i would have just threw it under this thing and you know but now this is an xl and it's making me you know think more differently about shape and how i can incorporate that into my own style and how shape really matters and how you can play with it and play with shapes that oversized look the small look so yeah <clears throat> That's it. So, you know, nice Sunday service merch tea, and uh, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, time for trousers and FUBU shoes down there. Yeah, niggas see them like a rock. Um.